Hi, I'm Kevin Casanetta, and this is Kev's Mindset, where we talk everything finance, investing, mindset, and productivity. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to invest as a teen. Okay, we're going to start off by talking about what exactly is a stock and what investing is, just in general, really quick, just so that in case you're new to it, you get a gist of it and I'll help you understand it. Then we'll move on to how to invest as a teen. And so let's get straight into the video. So to start, what exactly is a stock? So stock is basically a little piece of a company. Assume you have Apple, right? The company Apple. And this is gonna be a little confusing because we're gonna use apples to represent pieces of stock. But okay, so you have the company Apple, right? Then you have three, you buy an app, each stock or share of the company, which means it's, which is a tiny piece of Apple is worth um, in real life, it's around 120. So let's use the real numbers. Um, it's around 120 dollars a share, right? So you have one, two, three shares, right? Each one is you, so we have three, or we're gonna use apples to represent shares. So each one costs you 120 dollars, which means that you paid 360 dollars for three small pieces of apple, right? So now that you have three small pieces of apple, basically what that means is they will pay you their dividend, which I'll show right here. And that little piece, which is a dividend, which basically means that they pay you out little pieces. For every share that you hold, they give you a certain amount of money, which then gives you a yield, which is the percent. So it's like, hey, they give you like, uh, I think it's like 0.7%, something like that. So we, we, per quarter, they'll give you 0.7 or 0. like 2, 0.175%. Um, percent. Uh, of this of that yield of that total yield so for your three stocks is $360 throughout the year you'll get like 0.7% or something like that on your money which is not amazing but that's not the point of it the point is that Apple grows so all three of these of these stocks they go up in value let's say if they're at 120 right now right let's say Apple goes to, to realistically probably let's say 150 by the end of the year Okay, so you made $30 per share, which means that in total you have $90 and you invested 360, now you have 90, pretty good return, so you're doing well. That's basically what a stock is, you're buying a tiny piece of a company and it goes up in value and that's basically it. Okay, now we're going to talk about how you can start doing this as a teen in order to make money. Okay, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so obviously if you're 18, you can just go, put in your social, put in all your information, and you get and sign up to a brokerage. However, for teenagers, it's not that simple. However, there are things you can do. One, you can start a, a like a parental account. So basically, what it is, or a custodial account, sorry. Yeah. So basically, what it is is you ask your parent and you're like, hey, I want to start investing. What do you think? And if they say yes, then you use your own money and you sign up. And you, but you're signing up underneath them, so it's like they're your parent, and you're and you're like with them. So it's your money, you're investing, it's yours. However, you can't with you can't sell and withdraw the money until you're 18 in a custodial account. Which brings me to to the second thing, which is, um, you can just ask your parent, hey, I want to start investing, da da da, and then you're like, hey, how about um, I just invest with you and I give you my money and they invest for you and they'll pay the taxes, they'll do all that. So that's another way, it's kind of a little workaround so you don't have to worry about the custodial account part. You just open a normal brokerage with your parents and you give them the money and you invest and you handle trading and stuff, but they're the ones handling the legal side of it and everything. So that's the two ways that you can start investing as a teen. And um, several brokerages you can use are Webull, TD Ameritrade, um, Robinhood, E-Trade, and there's more, of course, but those are kind of the main ones. There's many more. There's something like Fidelity. You know, there's a, there's a lot of brokerages. And also, if you do want to start investing in crypto, which personally, I'm not investing in crypto right now just because I'm still doing my due diligence. And so I don't like just jumping into it. But if you are interested in Bitcoin and Ethereum, um, you can go to Coinbase, BlockFi, and, or Voyager. And those are three brokerages you can use to buy crypto safely and seamlessly. Okay, I hope you guys did find value from this video. And if you do have any more questions, leave them down below. 
and yeah um i'll i'll have your first brokerage uh, I, I use weeble personally so i'll have the link to weeble down below where you can get two free stocks when you deposit your first hundred dollars hope you did enjoy the video leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you are new thank you guys i'll see you in the next one and this was kev's mindset hope you enjoyed bye guys